Thank you for clicking on the video. And today here at Nerd Mimic, we are gonna do 100% flip through of this wonderful book, The Art of Beauty and the Beast. If you haven't seen this before, this is a auction catalog put out by Sotheby's for their auction of the actual physical cells and backdrops and hand-drawn art for the Disney film. Now, Disney films aren't necessarily nerdish, but certainly the animation and appreciation for the cells and collecting those cells and backdrops certainly has a geekish quality. And so that's why we feature it on this channel. And uh, actually the Lion King flip through we have is one of our uh, most viewed videos. And now we're gonna show off the Beauty and the Beast. So hopefully you can hit that like and subscribe and don't miss out on other flip throughs, uh, including the Little Mermaid one we'll do uh, in the near future. So if you haven't seen these before, these are, once again, auction catalogs for the actual purchase of the cells and backdrops that the animators physically created for the film. Uh, a lot of movies nowadays are computerized, and unfortunately, because of that, there's no real physical uh, medium to collect. So I do miss uh, these old 1980s and 90s uh, Renaissance uh, Disney films. And uh, certainly Beauty and the Beast uh, is one of the highlights uh, during that era. So uh, take a look at this cover. You know, obviously this is the grand ballroom scene. And interesting enough, this scene itself uh, with the actual dance was more computerized. And as you know, they started to migrate more to its computer animation. Um, so on the flip side here is the accompanying scene from the front. You can see this had a price point of $20 for the catalog. So hopefully you can find it uh, at a cheaper price. If you do, I highly recommend it. It's uh, printed on a nice archival white thick stock paper. And here we go. So the auction took place uh, in 1982. Uh, that's a year after the film came out. The first uh, several pages are gonna go over the business of the auction here. So we'll go through that. Short little introduction. And then the actual lots to be sold here. Now the cool thing about this art catalog is once again, it has the actual production cells and backgrounds from the film. You can see here, you know, she's sort of floating midair because it had a larger uh, background painted. So there's not really any other art source I see for appreciating Disney art like this. Most storybooks, of course, either take uh, not necessarily uh, direct images from the film. They make a different artist interpretation of it. So it's really cool to see the actual cells in storybook form here because not only do they have the price for the lot, but they also is accompanied by the story too. So you can see here, there's a quotation here. There goes the baker. As Isabel makes her way to town, she begins to sing. And they have the size of the cell and the size of the backdrop. Next page. Maybe if I hold the book this way, you can see into the corner. You can see Maurice, the father there. Lafu. And I don't even notice, but in this corner here, you can see a little black and white drawing of the ballroom scene, and you actually can flip through it. Uh, maybe I'll do that at the very end to show you. It's cool they have a little flip through animation there. Just makes having this book a treat to show off to uh, family and friends, and certainly uh, worth keeping to share with other generations.
So obviously all these lo lots uh, sold during their auction. So the only way to purchase these now is through a reseller. Guess it would have taken a lot of time to uh, animate all that hair there. It's always wonderful to see not just the cells they did but the time they and effort they took to make the painted backgrounds see all the detail there with the flooring door here cobblestone archway So I'm not sure where I picked up these catalogs, whether it was a bookstore or perhaps a, a museum shop of some sort. Nowadays, uh, the only recourse really, of course, would be uh, eBay. So you might get lucky to someone price it down to 10. Uh, Certainly, I wouldn't pay $90 as some people are trying to resell this for that high. so miserable there with all the water and we gotta assume of course the water was animated to drip down with each uh, subsequent cell after this one I 
it was certainly not uh, computerized. So you can see here that ballroom dance portion sort of uh, missing here because that entire scene or uh, the greater portion of it was rendered on the computer. So once again, you have all the dialogue for each subsequent scene there. So not only does this book make a great way to appreciate the animation from the film, but uh, acts as a storybook. Getting close to the end. This is uh, approximately 160 pages long. So I have the other catalogs you probably saw online. Well, Mermaid, Aladdin, Lion King, and Mulan. Uh, there are others out there for Pocahontas and Tarzan and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And here's the last cell to be sold. Now, on this page, you can see some of the production statues they use uh, to help visualize the 3D uh, concept of the uh, characters. So when the animator may need to shoot or visualize the character from a certain angle, they would use this production statue to help uh, visualize that. And uh, so these were sold too. So here's a couple of busts there. Gaston and LeFou here. Right. All right, so this one from the cover was spatially created uh, specifically uh, for the cover of this catalog. So once again, this scene, once again, was uh, rendered in the computer. So um, this cover uh, piece was uh, specifically created for this catalog. So that's pretty cool that they show it there. And of course, they're gonna sell it too. Because of course, uh, they wanna make some money too. And so the last several pages are just uh, logistics for the sale as well. And that is it. So, so thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this video and go through this entire book with me. It certainly brings out some fond memories of the film. And I should correct myself, the film came out in 1991. And so this catalog and auction took place in 1992, not in the 80s. So sorry for that uh, error. So uh, once again, if you like this video, hopefully you could share it and sub so you don't miss out on the Little Mermaid one we'll do in the future. And maybe I'll try to get hold of the other catalogs in this series as well. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching.